Documenting is often regarded as one of the less enjoyable aspects of a programmer's job. However, ChatGPT can assist in this area by automatically generating comments and external documentation for the code. It can be either inline comments or it can be providing code snippets along with the descriptions of their functionality. It can generate comments that explains the purpose of specific code sections or provide an overall view of the functionality. Any mundane task for any developer is to create documentation. Documentation plays a crucial role in software development. ChatGPT can assist you in generating documentation by doing simple tasks like adding comments to your code. Writing documentation is often regarded as one of the less enjoyable aspects of a programmer's job. However, ChatGPT can assist in this area by automatically generating comments and external documentation for code. It can be either inline comments or it can be by providing code snippets along with descriptions of their functionality. It can generate comments that explains the purpose of specific code sections or provide an overall view of the functionality. Let's start by taking a very simple Python code of adding two numbers. But before we begin, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with your friends hoping to learn ChatGPT. Also, do let us know in the comments if you have any questions, suggestions or requests for more information and we will be happy to incorporate it in the next video. Let me ask ChatGPT, please add comments to the following Python code. And it gives me sure. Here are some comments added to the code. It has added this function takes two numbers A and B. It returns the sum of the two numbers. It also tells me that the comments provide a brief explanation of what the code does and what each parameter represents. This was about a very simple summation function. Let's go on to see how and what comments it gives us for a complex function or a, for a complex code snippet in Python. This was about a very simple function on adding two numbers. Let's see a little more complex function of a simple quiz game in Python. I'm going to ask, please add comments to the following Python code to make it more readable. I've already copy pasted my code of a simple quiz where it asks me, what is your favorite programming language? Do you follow any tutor on Python? What is the name of your favorite website? And here it has given me the code with comments to enhance readability as I asked. This was about a very simple code on how to add two numbers. Let's see a little more complex code in Python of a snake game. By the way, if you want to learn about generative AI in far more depth and detail than what I'm covering here, we have a lot of courses of AI and ML from top universities in India and the world. Link is pinned in the comments. Go check it out. I'm going to ask, please add comments to the following Python code to enhance readability. I have already copy pasted my code. You can see how fast it gives me the comments along with the code. Let us see what all it has given me. It has given me that the width of the screen is this much, the height is this much. We have given the delay as well. And the first function is to reset the game to its initial state. Every single line it tells me that this is the initial position of the snake. This is the direction of the snake. This is the position of the food. Then it tells me how the snake moves and checking for collision. Check for collision with the food. Check if the snake goes beyond the screen boundaries. Draw the snake on the screen. Check for collision get a random position for the food, calculate the distance between the two positions. As you can see, it has given me a very well detailed commented code and it has also provided explanation for the purpose of each and every section and describe it. This makes it very easy for me as a reader to understand the functionality and flow of the program. And I didn't even have to go through the code. 
what i can do now is verify if the comments are correct or not by going through the code but it has given me a very good base to start off with <laughs>